Hi, welcome back to Her Light Cosmic Tarot. I am Kamisha and I am here to do Scorpio's reading for January 1st through to the 15th. Um, this is a general read, so guys, please, if it's not your story, come back at a later date and I will be tapped into your energy by then. Um, these readings are not gender specific, so please, if I say he, she, them, her, whatever, just know your role in the story and insert yourself there. Um, I did do a premeditative shuffle, and I got a couple of things, not much at all, so I don't know, you guys must be laying low. We'll see when we um, do the spread, so uh, I'm going to do a brief prayer, and I'm going to get into your energy all right then. So Holy Spirit, thank you for joining us. Thank you for helping the Collective of Scorpio on their journey. Thank you for encouraging us, and thank you for always giving us the highest messages um, for our greatest good. Thank you and amen. What are we doing? Okay. I'm using all of the decks that I have. Um, I've just been finding it easier to. I am using the Crystal Power Tarot by Jane Wallace, the Mermaid Tarot by Lisa Robertson. And I'm using the Tarot Tarot of the Moors by Gina Thies. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is going on with the sign of Scorpio? You guys are getting some of the same cards it is. And I've, I use all, all the decks, so I don't understand it. Sorry, I do understand it. But I don't understand it. What's going on with Scorpio? January 1st through the 5th. Um, I want to take all those. It's like the whole... Okay. They said you're going to take it. So. Okay. Actually, I don't need that. I'm sorry. I was going to clarify, but the spirit said no. No, 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 no. You don't need clarification. I gave you everything. Anyways. So. The theme of your spread is the Eight of Swords. I can't make this. I when I tell you I can't make it up, I can't make it up. There's no coincidences. The theme of your spread is the eight of swords. Underneath the deck, eight of swords in reverse. And this is a total different card, guys. This is the theme of your spread. You're in your head. Spirit is saying, get the hell out of your head. Come off your high horse and get down off, get down off of there. You put yourself there. Get out of your head. This is a no-brainer. This is a no-brainer. <laughs> this is what this is saying. This is a no-brainer. Walk the hell on. Get out of Dodge. Move. Guess what? Whatever this is, do not stop. Do not collect. Um, go past gold. Do not collect two hundred dollars. No, this is a no go. Walk away from it. Cause this is a no go. <laughs> Get out of your head. Get off your high horse. Just go, keep going. Because what you looking at, oh hell no, it's a no go. It's a no go. Okay, I'm done. I'm not done, but here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we have the sun. This is the happiest card on the deck. This is all your wishes, all your happiness, all your blissful moments. And it came out like that. I'm gonna show you how it I'm gonna show you how it came out. It's like I'm gonna get my son, however, I'm about to chop somebody's damn head off. Look. I'm going after my son. 
living in my truth, going about it any way I can. And I'm turning away from all of the nonsense in the background. Look at all this, all the lies that are coming out. Because you just slayed this. <laughs> Whatever this is, you just slayed it. Secret son came out. It's, it's like he was turned this way. He chops, chops some something here. Truth came out. He's like, okay, now, now I'm going to get my son. Now I'm going to get my happiness. And nobody or nothing is coming between it. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. So somebody, this might be a relationship. This might be a relationship, guys. Might be a relationship where you wanted something with a person. You saw it. You thought you saw it. But there were still things going on in the background. There were still lies. There were still, oh my goodness. I didn't tell you about the premeditative shuffle messages. Okay. They were butterflies and giraffes. Okay. And I'm going to try to tie that in because I don't think anything is a coincidence. So at the end, I'm going to try to tie that in. Anyways. So it's like you were in this relationship. You wanted to you know have this happy ending with this person and something happened and you were your king of swords and you ch -ch 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 -ch. secrets came out stuff hit the fan and you're like nah nah i'm not playing those games you have the moon to your back because you just laid the hell out of it and you're like nah nah I'm not playing those games I'm really going after what I want in my happiness okay how can you make this better how can this situation improve it's for you to know that this this is it. This is the end. Stop rehashing it. This is the, tennis, the end of a cycle. Knowing that this is the end. Knowing that this is the end of a cycle. And stop second guessing your intuition. Uh, or or the divine. Oh, but I thought I thought this was my son. I thought this was who it was. I thought this job was what it was. No, stop second guessing. Stop. Um. It's almost like you're being like methodical about it like oh this person makes this much money so it's only logical that i stay with them there could be a shit ton of secrets around them it's so much other bs going on in the background but you're thinking like oh logically it makes sense for me to stay with this person or logically it makes sense for me to stay at this job when stuff just hit the fan and it's like well um obviously it is it's time for you to go Obviously, it's time for you to go. <laughs> Get the hell up from your, from your cubicle because it's time for you to go. <laughs> this job isn't no go. I'm not laughing, but I'm getting the picture now. Or this relationship is a no go. You're sitting here, you're sitting here. I got swords on top of swords on top of you in your head. No. You in, you in your head, but you in your head in the wrong way. Use your intuition and get the hell down off this thing. Get out of your head. And establish something secure, something that's sturdy, something that you can, oh, this is this is definitely where it's at. I know, I know where I'm supposed to be now. Move on, learn new things, go back to school, try a new trade, go go um, apply to different places go out dating 
shiny new things are out there. Your likely outcome. Some of you still gonna be sitting there like mm, daydreaming like, oh yeah, I, I was told I could have other things. You know, people keep telling me that, you know, there's other stuff out there, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm still unsure. <laughs> Look at the swords. I, you can't make it up. I'm still unsure. She's unsure. I'm still unsure. I'm still unsure about working towards the sun. I'm still unsure about working to get to that sun. I'm, just, uh, I'm still unsure about getting to that sun. It's like, to me, it's almost like you're back and forth. In the beginning, y'all, I'm going to get my um, my son. And then it, it's just, it seems like a back and forth. I'm, I'm getting a back and forth. Eight of, pen of, eight of swords in reverse. Eight of swords are upright. Ten of swords reverse. High priest. Like, it's just, it's a, mm, 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 mm. you're not sure. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, mm. Spirit is saying, get out of your head and get down. Go. Because wherever you at is a no go. Okay? So whatever you're doing, whatever it is, if it sounds like this, I'm trying to be general because it could be anything. Spirit is saying, take responsibility. Look at this. I can't make it up. Take responsibility. And stand in your truth. Simple as that. You are the king of swords, baby. Even though you're Piscean. This is the energy you're harnessing. Like you're being strong-willed about this. Like, I want my son. Well, damn it. Go get it. And stop being indecisive. I'm Piscean, too. So we can be indecisive. We can be in our head and daydreaming. And... Oh, I thought it was like this. Oh, I thought... Listen, I know. It's real close. Take a guess. Um, you... <laughs> Take responsibility. Look, she in her head. She daydreaming. Take responsibility. Stop daydreaming. Stop being in your head. Get off. Get off of there. Look. Responsibility. Can't make it up. Take responsibility. Get up, get get down. You have a knife in your mouth. Get down. Get out of that situation. You have the ability to get out of that situation. You just gotta know us the truth. And don't be afraid to do something different. Spirit has got you. You have major arcana here. One, two, three, four, four, four. Four. Spirit is helping you. You just gotta have the faith. You gotta take the responsibility and live in your truth and get out of situation, whatever situation you in. And keep moving towards the goal. Keep going towards your son, your happiness. You can get there. Whatever this is that you want, you can get there. Trust me. That was y'all reading, guys. I hope that that resonated. If not, come back another time. It will. On that note, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hi, guys. I just wanted to come back. Um, so the, the part where I said... Um, I saw butterflies and or giraffes. So butterflies to me meant that that was your transformation. That's a sign of metamorphosis, changing into someone different, taking a new path. So that's why I saw butterflies. The 
the reason why I saw the giraffe, I saw the giraffe's um, spots. So, um, when I think about a giraffe's spots, I think like no two are the same or no spots are the same. Like, they're different and dare to be different. That's what I get from that. Um, so hopefully you took that, you can take that as, you know, confirmation as to why I was seeing those. And um, yeah, I am, um, yeah. Okay, bye.